In today's video, we feature Saint Louis IX of France, whose feast day is celebrated by the Catholic Church every August 25th. Saint Louis IX was born to King Louis VIII and Blanche of Castile, at Poissy on April 25, 1215, and was baptized in Le Collegiale Notre Dame Church. He was taught Latin, public speaking, writing, military arts, and government. Unfortunately, he was only nine years old when his grandfather Philip II died, and only twelve after the sudden death of his father. His mother ruled the kingdom as regent until he came of age and continued to serve as his trusted advisor until her death. It is said that Louis's mother instilled in him her devout Christianity. Blanche was recorded to have said, I love you, my dear son, as much as a mother can love her child, but I would rather see you dead at my feet than that you should ever commit a mortal sin. On May 27, 1234, Louis married Margaret of Provence and they had eleven children. Historians believe that King Louis IX began ruling personally in 1234, with his mother assuming a more advisory role. The prestige and respect for King Louis IX were due more to the appeal of his personality than to military domination. For his contemporaries, he was the quintessential example of the Christian prince and embodied the whole of Christendom in his person. His reputation for fairness and even saintliness was already well established while he was alive, and on many occasions, he was chosen as an arbiter in quarrels among the rulers of Europe. Thus, most of 13th century Christian Europe looked upon him as an international judge. The perception of Louis IX by his contemporaries as the exemplary Christian prince was reinforced by his religious zeal. Louis was an extremely devout Catholic, and he built the Saint Chapel located within the royal palace complex, in the Isle de la Cite in the center of Paris. He was also renowned for his charity. The peace and blessings of the realm come to us through the poor, he would say. Beggars were fed from his table. He ate their leavings, washed their feet, ministered to the wants of the lepers, and daily fed over 100 poor. He founded many hospitals and houses, the House of the Fells Dieu for reformed prostitutes, the Quinza Vinct for 300 blind men, and hospitals at Pontoise, Vernon, and Compin. He also built a house of the Trinitarian Order at Fontainebleau. Louis wrote the Enseignments, or teachings, and sent this to his son, Philip III. The letter outlined how Philip should follow the example of Jesus Christ in order to be a moral leader. Louis IX led his army to Egypt in June of 1249 to capture the port of Damietta. However, the march from Damietta toward Cairo went slowly. On February 8, 1250, Louis IX lost his army at the Battle of Farisco and was captured by the Egyptians. Upon his liberation, Louis IX devoted four years to fortifying the Kingdom of Jerusalem. In the spring of 1254, Louis and his remaining forces made their return to France. Louis IX led the Eighth Crusade and landed at Carthage, the capital city of ancient Carthage, on the eastern side of the Lake of Tunis in what is now Tunisia, on July 17, 1270. Unfortunately, disease immediately broke out in their camp. Louis died at Tunis on 25 August 1270, in an epidemic of dysentery that swept most of his army. According to European custom, his body was subjected to the process known as Mos Teutonicus, prior to his remains being returned to France. Louis' younger brother, Charles I of Naples, preserved his heart and intestines and conveyed them for burial in the cathedral of Monreale near Palermo. Louis' bones were carried overland in a lengthy processional across Sicily, Italy, the Alps, and France until they were interred in the royal necropolis at St. Denis. In May 1271, Charles and Philip III later dispersed a number of relics to promote Louis' veneration. Pope Boniface VIII proclaimed the canonization of Louis IX in 1297 making him the only French king to be declared a saint. Louis IX is often considered the model of the ideal Christian monarch. The Sisters of Charity of St. Louis is a Roman Catholic religious order founded in Vannes, France, in 1803, and was named in his honor. A similar order, the Sisters of St. Louis, was founded in Julie in 1842. 
Saint Louis IX of France is honored as co-patron of the Third Order of Saint Francis, for his acts of charity coupled with his devout religious practices. This account gave rise to the legend that he joined the Third Order of Saint Francis, though it is unlikely that he ever actually joined the order. The Catholic Church and Episcopal Church honor him with a feast day on August 25th, giving him the title of the patron of masons and builders. For more information about every saints and their feast day, please like and subscribe to our channel, House of Prayers for Everyone.